Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, I told you it had to be something. It had to be something going on up in that house there. Because now we got Winona coming off with the gloves. She said, uh 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 uh. Mama leave you her estate? Fine. Her leaving the masters of what me and Mama did? That is not fine. <laughs> I'm talking about those recorded albums, those recorded singles, however you want to look at it. The recording that Naomi, Naomi and Winona Judd made together. Honey, baby, did you not know she not only left him twenty five million, he she left the executor, uh, which is Larry Strickland, her husband. She left him the recordings and uh, what do you call it, um, uh, music catalog to Mr. Strickland as well. Now, see, that's where it hits below the belt because now you're talking about. Uh, why no, not? Yeah, why Nona's money now? She ain't gonna have nobody over that like that now. I, I, I'm trying to figure out how why Nona didn't get her hands on her masters prior to her mama, uh, you know, ex, you know, ex communicating herself out the world, uh, or why she didn't have any dealings with the masters. Period, honey. I'm telling you, the only person you can trust in this world is the Lord. Okay. Can't trust your mom, can't trust your daddy, can't trust your sister, can't trust your brother, can't trust your cousins. It just is what it is. Not when it comes to assets. Everybody gets real funny when you start talking about people's assets. Now, who is going to be the blessed person to get those funds when that person dies, okay? But anyway, let's get into what Radar Online had brought out to us, Okay. Uh, Whitney Vasquez wrote it up for us, and we're going to go at it full force with full steam, because Winona is mad, mad, okay, but anyway, it says, bitter pill to swallow, Na Naomi Judd's music catalog, including hits with Winona, Winona, now belongs to her husband, Larry Strickland, says the sources, Mm-hmm. Naomi Judd's music catalog now, enti now entirely belongs to her husband, Larry Strickland, including all the hits the country stars or star made with her daughter, Wyona, adding to the drama over leaving her children out the wheel. Okay, that's why I told you. Something funny, something fishy, and it's like when fish stay in your car overnight and you forgot to take it out. You know that horrendous smell? Mm-hmm. That's how this scenario is panning out to be looked at and <laughs> smelled upon. Radar has learned that Naomi's will didn't mention leaving Winona 58 any share of the duo's long list of duets. Strickland is now in control of Naomi's catalog and music proceeds after she gave him complete control of her multi-million dollar fortune before she had to offer herself. You know what I'm saying? We're going to say the word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. To Wyona, her feeling is Naomi built her fortune at least partially on the back of Wyona's own hard work. An insider told Daily Mail, she was the one who was the lead singer of the Judds dating back to the 1980s and took Naomi from working as a nurse to being a star. Okay, to that go again. We don't know why these people, they want to leave these professional jobs. They went to school, paid money to be a part of, got their degree, got their licensure or whatnot. And then they leave it for fortune and fame in the entertainment industry. And uh, Naomi's part, the music industry. Don't make sense to it. Mm. 
all logic is thrown out the window. But anyway, going back to the article, it says the source also claimed it was Winona's talent, not Naomi's, that got them to the top of their music career. Naomi sang harmonies and kind of acted like the ring leader on stage, but it was Winona, amazing voice that pushed them over the top, the pal stated. The outlet pointed out that not leaving her daughter in control of their music is just a bitter pill for Winona to swallow. As Radar exclusively reported, Winona is gearing up to contest her late mother's will after discovering she and her famous sister, Ashley Judd, were cut out of it. We're told the decision to leave them without her inheritance has sparked an explosive war between the squabbling sisters. Ashley has sided with Naomi's decision to put Larry in charge. Winona was banking on getting a piece of the pie. Our source spiel, adding that Winona believes Ashley and Larry conspired against her. See, here we go again. Here we go. How they say more money, more problems. And for the love of money, you will steal from your brother. For the love of money. Hey, don't let money change you. Almighty dollar. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> The way you use money or the way money can be uh, divvied out, it can cause more harm than good. Okay, that's why you don't nearly need to have money like that. Okay, but going back to the article, it says a source close to Ashley said her mother knew what she was doing by not handing ha women, by not handing Winona her twenty-five million fortune. Winona has had money problems throughout her adult life. As insider close to the family told Radar Online uh, dot com, she's blown through every dollar she made with the judge. She even checked into a treatment facility in 2004 for a money disorder. Naomi com committed, you know what she did to herself, in April at the age of 76. She used a weapon. My mother used a firearm. Okay. Ashley said, on Good Morning America. So that's the piece of the information that we are very uncomfortable sharing. But understand that we're in a position that if we don't say it, somebody else is going to. Naomi's family has gone to court to block graphic photos from the singer's gruesome death scene from being released. Okay. So I think that is it for that particular article. But you see what I'm saying? Now you got the sisters going at war with one another ashley judd which is the younger sister and like i told her she was in that movie uh double jeopardy she's an actress i don't know if she's been doing any actor acting lately but see now she's conspired with being on um larry strickland's side now like you know how men like younger women okay i ain't saying it but i am saying it you think they're sleeping around with each other, Ashley and Mr. Larry Strickland? Because why are they on such on good terms? But Winona, the singer, the backbone, the guitarist, okay, she got left out. She said, uh-uh, I don't know about no money troubles. Now, this is just what I'm reading to y'all because I thought everything was good in the hood. I thought, you know, Winona was having her business, had money stacked. As well as Ashley was handling her, uh, handling her business and her money stack. But you see how this article broke out this news? That the big red head, the one to the left, one on her. She wasn't good at saving and securing her money. She just likes to blow money on what? I do not know. They weren't specifying or giving us an idea of where her money was going. Besides going down the drain is what they put it. Um... Now they're trying to say she don't have anything to continue um, with or she don't have any cushion money to fall back on in case, you know, she can't tour anymore for whatever reason. So, ooh, child. But I don't know. I think I still would have left it if I was her and Ashley was the good child. I would have had both of them be executive uh, custodians over my account. Because, you know, nobody's saying anything about Ashley. Was Ashley good at saving her money and putting her money where it needed to go? Or was she blowing hers, too? Mm. But I know one thing. That one to the left. 
That one with the red, golden, glowing hair. She ain't having it. <laughs> she ain't having it at all. She's like, wait a minute now. Mama done gave you her money. But mm -mm, it's another thing when you're talking about holding my money, my royalties, my part that I play in the uh, double, uh, what do you call it? The double group or I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I'm trying to say uh, with them being an okay duo is what I'm looking for. The duo group. And she called herself being the main thing in the group itself. Cha, cha, cha. It's getting hot. I'm telling you, it's going to get hot. Some more going to come out for us over with. And I'm going to be right here reporting it to you all. Yes. And well, we could talk about it. Mm hmm. Because it's news. It's news that we can use, at least for me. Because I told you, I'm nose as hell. And if I can bring something to y'all attention and make you go, hmm, then I did my job. <laughs> we got something to talk about, right? Right. So I keep y'all abreast of the oncoming, unfolding uh, scenarios that's coming out with this money being left to only her ex-husband. Because she's deceased from the world. So we could say her late. The late spouse left her uh, other spouse the money. That whole kit and caboodle. And one of her daughters is not liking it. Not one single bit. But like I said, as things keep unfolding, things are going to uh, be reported, being updated reports. We're going to come back to the channel. We're going to have a conversation about this stuff. Because like I said, I know black folks get down and they get crazy when they left out of wheels and stuff like and testaments and all of that. Ooh, but the white folks get down dirty, too. They get down dirty, too. Probably a little bit better than the black folks, okay? Because they ready to take shit to court. Re you know, we ready to fight at first. And then we think about taking shit to court. Uh, we, we talking about ramshacking some stuff. Uh, we trying to find wheels on another wheel. They got our name all up in there. But, yeah. Okay, I'll up, uh, I'll up update y'all when i get some updates okay but other than that y'all take it easy y'all be breezy and i will see you next video